today we have a mystery box from friend of the channel, Packer Jeff. Also goes by TPJ underscore comics on Instagram. He's the gentleman that did the intro. He is a comic book fiend club member and passionate collector. He sent me this mystery box to help provide uh, content for the comic book community. He always puts uh, his stickers on there to entice the postal worker who may be handling the precious cargo to you know take extra care with it he always does a fabulous job with his wrapping on occasion he's gone heavy duty on it but uh, you can just tell that he cares to make sure that the comics arrive safely so I am excited to see what he decided to share with us this time. Again, never one to skimp on the packing. Let's go right here. Again, safety scissors. We want to make sure we're cutting away from our body and uh, doing everything we can to not slice off any digits. Maybe one day I'll be back to a box cutter, but, you know, who knows. All right. We're getting there. All right. And he did, you know, me not being the most with it knowledgeable comic book video sharing individual uh he did he gave me some notes on the back of the books to help make it more informative so i really appreciate jeff's passion for the books so let's see what he's got today Got a great cover with Wolverine and Sabretooth. Classic combo. Wolverine Exit Wounds number one. Cover by Ryan Stegman and story by Chris Claremont. Chris Claremont is a name I've heard on other comic book groups, so that's pretty cool. Well, this one is. It almost looks like the movie Catwoman. Catwoman 15. Cardstock variant. Cover art by Art Germ. That one's that one is a very cool looking Catwoman. Looks almost like a real life photo. All right, so this one is a wrap around cover, Civil War Two issue number three, cover wrap variant by Joe Quesado. I guess it was a midnight launch cover. The kids uh, do love Hulk Smash, so that's a pretty cool one. I like the black and white. Jeff knows that uh, I'm a big Wolverine guy, so it's very cool that he included some of these. And it's Wolverine Infinity Watch number one, covered by Jim Hai Young Lee. Oh, he looks like a. Like zombie-ish in this one. Very cool. Old Man Logan. I did love the Logan movie. Volume 2, Annual Number 1. Covered by Gerardo Sandoval. I do like The Punisher, too. I like the first was it two seasons. Season and a half of The Punisher on uh, Netflix, the series. It was getting a little weird. Uh, I was uh, still bummed to see it go. Despicable Deadpool number 287. Linkler homage cover by Salva Espin. Oh, dude, it's pretty cool. Like, kind of 
It's got that change look to it. That one is really cool. I like this one a lot. That's very cool, Jeff. He's very knowledgeable. So Deadpool number 33 is the Jim Lee cover. Uh, Jeff's also uh, doing some cover on the TPJ underscore comics, I think is also his YouTube. And he's got some stuff there, but uh, he also, like I said, has a lot going on on YouTube. He is a big Deadpool guy as well. We got Deadpool Corpse number five. Covered by Rob Liefeld. That's very... I like it. I really enjoyed the uh, the Deadpool movies. I haven't seen the Christmas one. So we got Deadpool Max number one. Covered by Kyle Baker. It does have explicit content. Uh, everyone loves some Harley Quinn. We have Harley Quinn Day number one, free comic book day, cover by Frank Miller. I think it's really cool that the comic book community does that. You know, just like any good dealer, you got to get the get them hooked, give them a little taste to keep them coming back. Oh, uh, this is got a certificate of authenticity. It's a uh, Michael Turner, 763 out of 1,000 autograph there. Wow, that's really, really awesome that he would send something like that. You know, I really appreciate, you know, him sharing his passion of comics with me and uh, me allowing me to share it with the comic book community. Ooh, Harley Quinn. Number nine, signed by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Pilati. Wow, man, including autographed comics, that's like beyond too kind. Like I said, I would encourage anyone to check out uh, the TPJ underscore comics, YouTube and Instagram. Uh, phenomenally passionate about comics, cares with his shipping and packaging. I know he wants to do uh, get into more sharing um, comics with people by doing, uh, you know, like a retail or custom kind of, uh, mystery box for people. Um, so I would definitely take a look into that if you're interested and you like the comics that you saw here. Um, uh, it's really a great opportunity. I'm going to do my best to kind of keep churning out some content. I did finally get one torpedo comic box in. I've got two Spider-Man booth, uh, Packer Jeff is a member of the comic book fiend community. They did a collaboration with that Spider-Man booth to raise money. It was I bought two boxes during that fundraiser. I think they ended up buying or raising at least I think it was fourteen hundred dollars for their charitable cause. So that was really great. I'll be opening you know that uh, order here shortly. I've like I said I got the Torpedo Comics in so. It's going to be a pretty decent run of, uh, you know, videos if you like the comic books. So everyone stay safe, take care, and wash your hands.